In this video, we'll explore the one-pager legend. In the example I have open here, I have my legend displaying. Let's first get set on how we refer to the different parts of the legend. At the top of my legend is my legend title. Below that are my legend items. Then at the bottom, I am currently displaying the Gantt bar diagram. The Gantt bar diagram is meant to explain to the audience what the visual elements in the body of the view are if I'm employing them, including baseline shapes, percent complete bars, or critical path bars. As you may have discovered, one pager's legend display is primarily driven by the value you currently have set up to drive automatic coloring of tasks and milestones in the task bars or milestones tab of the template or properties of the project view form, or PVP form as we call it. If I open the PVP form within this view, you see that I have resource names driving my coloring, which is why you see resource names in the title of my legend, and the resource names values from my project plan within the legend items. If I navigate to the Legend tab of the PVP form, you'll notice that there are other settings available to control other aspects of the legend. Starting at the top of the tab and moving counterclockwise, you can turn the legend on and off using the checkbox in the upper left. You can adjust the legend item or title fonts. You can control the dimensions of the legend, the background color, create a custom title, and then show or hide certain elements, including the Gantt bar diagram I showed you earlier. Moving up, you'll notice you're able to adjust the default location of the legend on the screen. And finally at the top, change your legend to a horizontal layout, although you may only want to choose a horizontal layout if you have a small number of legend items. Here is an example configured to have a horizontal legend. There are also other ways you can change or impact the legend. The first is with drag and drop. I can grab my legend in the view with a left click to enable handlebars, which allow me to resize my legend. I can also do a left click and hold to drag the legend around. The second ability to change my legend is by right clicking into a legend item itself. When I do this, I open the Edit Legend Item form that will allow me to hide the legend item, change where the legend item resides in the list of items in terms of sequence, or change the color and shape of the legend item, as well as all of its subsequent tasks in the view that it represents. I'm going to change the color and shape of my legend item here, and then click OK so that you can see how that impacts the items in the view that my legend item is connected to. If I right-click in the top of the legend, you'll notice a different list pops that provides several other options. I can hide the legend, or unhide legend items I may have previously hidden, Rebuild the legend, which is similar to a redraw function and will ensure your legend matches the most current data in the view. If your legend ever looks off, clicking the Rebuild Legend item will likely help. You can edit the legend title from here, modify fonts, change the background color, or manipulate the order of the legend against other visual elements in the view. There are two more things you should be aware of with regard to the legend in one pager. The first is quick, and it is the ability in the View tab to hide the legend by unchecking the legend checkbox in the Graphic Elements section. The second is that one pager will represent, by default, any conditional formatting rules that you have created in your template or PVP form. If I open my PVP form, in this example, notice that I have a rule turned on to make my tasks and milestones black, and a specific taskbar shape, and 120% in terms of size if the resource name value is prime. If we look at the legend and view, you will see that conditional formatting rule reflected. For more information on how to use OnePager, please visit our website at chroniclegraphics.com or email us at support at chroniclegraphics.com and we'll be happy to assist you.